Welcome to Wednesday Night Recap, sponsored this week by Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. And Praise Youth. That's right. We had our Chick-fil-A sandwich night uh, for Praise Speed Youth. the Light. It was, it was great. We had a good turnout. And we'll, we'll be, be on the lookout for the next dates. We'll be coming in February doing another yeah. one. I haven't had one in a long time. Yeah. So that Did was, it taste good? It was, it was really good, good, yeah. Did you feel more holy? An Amish Mac done? salad. Wow, it's yeah. It's got the extra sugar mm. in it. Oh, that was so good. <laughs> it was good potato. It was Chips, a cookies. Yeah. Did good. you did you buy? Did you get dinner tonight? Yeah. Okay. I just checking. Get the macaroni. I didn't see you eating. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We weren't fancy. We just got the <laughs> <laughs> just got the sandwich. That's mm-hmm. right. So, so anyway, so uh, tonight you wrapped up. You wrapped up. Time of your life. Yeah. Last the session. Last session. Yeah. It was really good. It was really you did a great job. Oh, thank you. With the pre discussion and then the video. I, I enjoyed Andy most this week than any of them. Mm-hmm. Um, just putting things in perspective that you know, it's all, well, the word meaningless is a new international version, a couple other versions. Uh-huh. The word gets translated futility in other versions. Right, right. In case you're wondering what I'm doing with my phone no, no, all the time. No. <laughs> and then I like, I like vanity, vanity of vanities, yeah, right. mm. which kind of leans, well, leans itself more towards futility. Uh-huh. You know, we, we do so many things in life that don't matter right. in the real scope of things, and especially sure. in light of eternity. Uh-huh. And... Um, and what he made clear to us is that it's everything under the sun. I right. love that. Yeah. Everything yeah. under the sun is vanity. It's right. it's meaningless. Yeah. And man, we try so hard. Yeah, we do. You know, we work so hard. Mm-hmm. That's true. And that's, I mean, he had said that if you're going to read, it was based on Ecclesiastes. You, you can't just begin to read that and then stop and go back to yeah. it. Because yeah. me as a, as a young person looked to that book. And I read those first opening things, meaningless, meaningless. Wait, 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 wait. You as a young person? Yeah. Do you mean now or in the past? In the past. In you the mean past. in the past? Okay. In the past. He turned 50 okay. this year. I just, want, <laughs> I just wanted to clarify. Yeah, we need to get some like, truth in that. Oh, no, I'm not when saying me it, as a young person. You, when me you, as when a young person. When, when, <laughs> when you were. When you were. Yeah, okay. Things. No, I'm just. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I, it, it, it didn't offer hope as you read that, but then you realize that Solomon is saying. Yeah. That he's tried everything. Yeah. You know, ran, ran the gamut of all things, that could, and it's all meaningless. Position doesn't do it. Right. Money doesn't right. do it. Fame yeah. doesn't do it. Mm-hmm. And we all kind of know that. Yeah. But I think we still strive for those things, mm-hmm. yeah. you know? I mean, I don't think we're striving for fame, right. but we want enough to take care of our family and, you know, some extra, right, financially and, mm-hmm. you know. We want to we wanna at least have a fan club around us called our family. Yeah. You know? It's true. That's a good way to put it, your fan I like that. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Um, but you just said that, or it had just been said about when you're younger, you don't, you can't appreciate it. Yeah. Right. And, uh, you know, that passage that it's kind of, it was the passage used for the whole thing, Psalm 90, 12, teach oh. us to realize the brevity of our life. And it really is something you have to learn. Like mm-hmm. only, like years are yeah. the only way you really learn it. Mm-hmm. You know, that, that life is short and that, you know, what really matters. And so yeah. I, I thought it was a pretty good Again, and uh, probably in, a, in another series that we were talking about, you were talking about when you're a kid, oh, time seems time. so, you know, but as you get older, you begin to realize, yeah. I, th- there's this thing going around, I'm, I'm 50, mm-hmm. born in 1972 till now, is the same distance as 1922 <laughs> to 72. It's like, wow. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of humbling. That's scary. But yeah, as you get older, that's How why you, you can look back. And, Don't say it. And, uh, no, but time seems shorter now. Yeah. And now you're much more cognizant of what's, you know, of, it, of what you, ha- have you left behind a, a legacy for eternity? Yeah. Or just meaningless, you know, you pass down money, you know, you, what do you say? You, you did a job that somebody else will come and do after you, like, you, you, you just go through the motions, but you can leave a lasting example yeah. on your family. And, and you know, one, one thing that came to my mind was, I think Dr. Dobson, James Dobson said it, was that ultimately our goal is to get to heaven and to bring as many people with us as possible. Right. That's really our main mm-hmm. purpose in life. Right. It's it's not the 401k, it's not, you know, you know, accumulating a big house and all these <clears throat> knickknacks and mementos and mm-hmm. it's it's really about the end game, mm-hmm. getting to heaven yeah. and bringing as many people with you. Now Andy wasn't that direct. He right. did imply it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it was based on that. The other thing, the other phrase that came up was chasing the wind. Right. And so I went to Ecclesiastes. Boy, that's that's mentioned like at least a yeah, dozen times. It is. Yeah. You know, that's all, all of this. It's a chasing after the wind. Yeah, yeah. all yeah. this. Mm-hmm. 
And and, and and that's the thing. Solomon would know. He had the money to do anything he wanted. Oh, yeah. The time. I mean, the, the opportunity, power. the power. So if anybody would know, I mean, he's going to know. Right. It's, it's true. Yeah. Right. So it's a great English. lesson. Yeah. yeah. And then next week we're starting a new series. Balanced. Balanced, yeah. Dealing with finances. Uh-huh. You don't want to miss that. And uh-huh. I don't know if that, I can't remember how many weeks that runs. Six. Six weeks. Yeah. yeah. It's a different approach. It's not a Dave Ramsey approach, but it's stuff that we, we still have a lot of meat in it. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, don't want to miss that one. No. Yeah, for sure. So yeah. that's about it, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Another night of Wednesday night recap. Yeah. <laughs> where we recap all things Wednesday night. It was good. It was really good. Yeah, it was. So. Really. All right. Hope to see you Sunday. Pastor Brandon is speaking. We're doing the spiritual assessment uh, series, and uh, he's going to be talking about worship. Mm -hmm. So see you Sunday. God bless.